Welcome to Fragrance Wheel, your number one channel for fragrance, fashion, and food. Welcome back everyone to another segment of Fragrance Wheel. Now today is going to be a special segment because we are going to be talking about fragrance and food. So I'm going to get a note out of certain fragrances and I am going to prepare a special dish that would mimic that fragrance or at least a note out of that fragrance. So whatever you do, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share the content. Because today we will talk about cooking and there are some people need to know how to cook, both young and older, some inexperienced, some experienced. So I'm gonna put my chef skills together today and we're gonna see what we can cook up. So the first fragrance we'll be talking about is from Demeter. And it is Demeter Fragrance Library. I'm gonna let you see it. And our first food note we will be talking about is pineapple. Mm -hmm. When you spray this right here, I'm gonna tell you something. That is a fresh pineapple. This here is a sweet, tropical, aromatic, and the note is, of course, pineapple. So this is a lush, juicy, tropical, mouth-watering pineapple. Just, you can just imagine, I smell it, and it smells so good, I'm telling you. This is, this is bomb. I really like fruity flavor, uh, fragrance notes or whatever. I like fruity fragrance notes. Don't try to say that three times real fast. And, but this one is, it reminds me of a little bit of both Creed at Venice, but not as strong, and Cedric Boise from Mancero. So this is just pineapple at its best. You can, you can just like taste it, mouth-watering, juicy, ripe, real ripe, nice. Oh, I can smell this all day long. So, I'm getting ready to pair my recipe or my food item with this pineapple. Stay tuned. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Chef Will and um, our first fragrance was pineapple chicken. So I'm going to do a demonstration, a pre-demonstration of both my, all of my ingredients, mix them together to create not only the glaze, but it creates the marinade. So right here, I'll just show you. I've already mixed my marinade. Uh, this is gonna be my marinade. And then of course, stand by. I have my pineapple glaze here and I will be Oh, it smells so good. It's, it's pineapple. It smells so good. And I will be, I will be uh, cooking with my chicken. I will cook my chicken at a later time. Your chicken should be nice and thin, just like that. It should be nice and thin. So one breast is actually two pieces. So you cut it in half. Make sure your knife is sharp, not dull. And you just take care of your chicken. And then once you put it in the bag, marinate it for about uh, four to six hours for me, I'm special. So I I marinate I marinate mine overnight. So once I marinate it overnight, then we'll conclude this episode on pineapple chicken tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> here we back again. The chef is making uh, pineapple chicken, and uh, once I get my little marks on there, we'll flip it over. I plate it, and I'll show you how I roll fresh pineapple. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my. If you could just smell that aroma. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have some fun. Okay, just checking in on the chicken. Uh, and uh, the pineapples are about ready. And I'll put a second uh, helping of chicken on the platter. So we are moving right along. Also, cooking up my pineapple sauce. Mmm. <laughs> and look at it. We have our pineapple chicken. Mm. I have tasted it and it is 
authentic. It tastes just like that fragrance smells. Demeter pineapple. Mmm, mmm, tropical. I'm on the island, right? I'm on the island. Okay, we're back. Now, my second fragrance is Teal Cabanel. Oh, it's a box. Teal Cabanel Barcane. Paris Special. Beautiful bottle. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Now, some of the notes here is bergamot, uh, curry tree, cumin, geranium. Then you have uh, myrrh and labdanum, uh, tonka bean, and vanilla, oud, of course, oud, definitely oud, uh, patchouli and vetiver, and a little musk on the bottom. So this is a very, this is very spicy. It's a very spicy because you have that cumin and you have that curry tree in here and that sets the spice. But what keeps it down just a little bit is that vanilla on the bottom and that tonka bean and that labdanum, that myrrh, all that keeps it down. If not, the curry tree and that cumin, whew, you probably wouldn't be able to take this. This, this is a uh, warm and spicy uh, fragrance and also it reminds me of Serge Lutin's Ombre Sultan but just in a milder way, milder way just real mild very mo much more wearable so you can wear this in, in just a casual way like the spice of life I like it really do <sighs> And I'm getting ready to bring you to the next pairing of my food items. This is my second dish, and my second dish will be in relationship to Tio Cabernet, Barcane. Uh, that note would be curry, tree, and cumin. And the chicken that I'm going to do is, of course, curry chicken. That is all my notes. Check it out. We're going to be stirring things up, and then we're going to be cooking. Okay, here we are. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to caramelize my onions. One cup. I'll save the rest of those. Now that you see my onions are uh, sort of caramelized here, now I will add in the ginger and the garlic. Cook it for about 30 seconds, and then I add in other ingredients. We'll now add our chicken broth. It's nice and caramelized. We'll now add our chicken broth, and we'll add in our tomatoes. Here we go. Now that the blend is cool, we're gonna transfer it to the blender here, and we're gonna make it a puree. And uh, we have a puree setting on the blender, and I'll turn it on, and we'll and then we'll return the puree, this, liquid to the to the uh, pan and then we will add the chicken okay add a little salt and a little cayenne come on cayenne yep just a little bit you don't want to get carried away and then of course add me a little salt to it and then we'll be back to add the whipping cream you can see I've added the cayenne pepper and the salt. Now I've added the chicken, and we're gonna let this stew till it's ready. Okay, now that the chicken, I poured it in the cornstarch with the cold water mixture to thicken the sauce, and you can see the sauce is thickened. Now I will pour in the. Woo! Mmm. I pour in the heavy cream, and then that should that should make our concoction with the heavy cream should make our concoction, and then I am cooking up rice, and that would be the dish. The next thing you see is I will plate it. Okay, here's my final presentation: curry chicken on a bed of rice, and that goes along with my fragrance, Tio Cabernet Barcane nice and spicy okay 
I'm back. This is my last fragrance pairing. And this is from the house of Papillon Roma. And it's Dolce Passione. It stands for sweet passion. Sweet. You have, when you have a, a desire for something, a sweet desire for something. This is what you're talking about. So, my third ingredient would be chocolate. Yeah, I know it. Chocolate. Okay? Chocolate. And this is an amber vanilla note. Mm. This fragrance is the amber vanilla scent. Uh, some of the ingredients, some of the notes is dark chocolate, mm, truffles, mm, vanilla, mm, honey, tonka bean, just go on and on. Strawberry, plum, saffron, and a little white moss to finish it out. This is a smooth, even though they say it's an amber vanilla this is a smooth chocolate scent. You get the chocolate on the front end with the truffle. I think the truffle just kind of like calm down a little bit, but that chocolate go all the way through. You know what I'm gonna spray it. I don't even know what you think, but I'm gonna spray this right here. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet, so good. Edible. All night long, I'm telling you, this is so realistic. It is so chocolate. You just smell the truffles. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, it smells like I'm in a Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I just had to put it out there. Fragrance will, you know? Okay, I know Valentine's coming around. Everything chocolate. So if you don't eat chocolate, I'm sorry. But I am going to pair this with my next um, food ingredient and I'm gonna let you know what that is shortly stay tuned now here is my last uh, fragrance to food combination and that is going to be uh, the mini uh, chocolate bunt cakes and here are my ingredients I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna mix them of course you got the chocolate over here you have um, uh, vanilla your milk your eggs uh, your cake I use cake flour if you're looking at it I use cake flour and so whatever you use then you follow directions on what you use but I use cake flour uh, I don't use um, regular flour I don't use that and I don't use cake mix so whatever you use you follow the instruction on the box and then once I mix all these I'm gonna cut the butter and then I'm gonna have the brown sugar I have brown sugar here and uh, I'm gonna mix in all the other ingredients along with the flour, the eggs. Okay, uh, we are back and all the ingredients are mixed. And I didn't want to fill all the, uh, the compartments in my baking pan because I'm not gonna eat them. So, and if I do bake it, I will eat it. So I'm not baking them. So what you have here is uh, four, six, two large, for small and we're gonna give it time to cook at 350 okay fam check this out uh, this is we, what we've uh, come to we made our cakes and now I'm getting ready to put a little uh, condensed milk and then some chocolate chips to make my ganache and my, my ganache is gonna be my glaze over the top I'll see you okay that's your finished product uh, and I know it's gonna taste good. So, chocolate, chocolate, bunt cakes. Mmm, I'll leave the recipe below. Thank you again with Cooking with Fragrance Wheel, where we have matched fragrance notes with food. And if you enjoyed this session, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share it with someone who can benefit from it. Also, remember, if you're having a bad day, and you need a pick-me-up. All you need to know is fragrance wheel. We'll see you on the next episode.